I was going through the Squarespace forums the other day and I saw a question that stuck out to me and it was, how do I get two different text sizes on one line? And this is something that it's more stylistic than anything, but let's say you wanted to change the size of one specific word. There's no native way to do this. If you change, if you highlight a word on a line and you select paragraph three sizing, everything changes to paragraph three. If you, if you do it for H1, H2, whatever it may be, everything in that line, no matter how long that line is, gets changed. So this needs to be coded and it's a, it's a really simple code. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. So what we want to do is go into our editor and we need to create a line of text. So let's add in a new section. And let's just say, let's just do this one. And then what we need to do, or I'll, basically I'll show you first. If we try and just change the word minute to, let's say, paragraph three, then it changes everything to paragraph three. If we try and change it to page three, it does it all to page three. So we need to give the word or the words that we want to change some kind of differentiator. So let's say minute, we can either make it bold or we can make it italicized. I'll show you bold and then for point, I'll show you italicized. So we'll save this and we'll exit. Now what we need to do is go to our custom CSS and then what we need to do is, okay, we've got bold. So bold in CSS is strong. So we say strong, squiggly brackets, and then we want to change the font size. So I'm going to make that three rem. And you can see it changes the font size. Now, italics is EM. So we do our brackets, font size, and then we'll make that really small. So we'll say 0 0.5 REM. There we go. And you can see it's tiny. But also, what you can see is that bold stays bold so what we need to do is put font weight normal and that unbolds it because we don't want people to know that we've bolded it we just want to see we just want to show them that it's a different size so let's put let's make it two a bit less ridiculous and let's make this one actually that's not too different so do 0 0.7 so what we want to do with italics is do font style and then give that normal. And then you can see both of them. So we've got non-bolded, non-italicized. And then when we go into the editor, if we wanted to make, let's say, this entire line bold or larger, then we'd make it bold. If we wanted to make this entire line smaller, we'd make it italicized. And you can see we've got all these different sizes of text going on. Now, this this clearly looks a bit busy, but there is a time and a place. And I've, I've used this many, many times on client sites. So if we exit. The code is bold. If you make something bold, increase the font size or decrease it, you can change this. Just make sure you've got font weight normal. And then italics, just make sure you've got font, uh, font style normal. And what's good about having two different variants is that you can have two different sizes because, because you may want to switch it up. Now, now, the only other thing is you may not want to apply this to every single instance of bold or italicized. So what we need to do here is wrap our code in squiggly brackets. And then we want to target either the block ID or the section ID, or the collection ID. So here, what we would do is we would use our Google Chrome extension, which is Squarespace Block ID Finder, and then we can either target the collection, which is all instances of bold and italics on the page. Section would be all instances of bold or italics in one section. And then the block would just be all instances of bold and italic within that one block. 
So it's completely up to you how wide you want to apply this code. But anyway, let's just say I wanted to apply it to this block. What I would do is add our block ID here and it keeps our code just confined to this block. But you can see if I was to apply it to just some random block, the code would disappear. It would just it would just turn back to bold. The italics is still in play because I haven't wrapped that, but you can see that you can get specific or as non-specific as you want. I know that a lot of my clients in blog posts especially like to use bold and italics, so we don't want this effect applying in those blog posts. So this is probably the best way to go about it. And if you did find this useful, please make sure to leave a like, hit subscribe, and check out all of the resources in the description below.